The Prophet Yusuf, peace be upon him. A Child in a Well, The Prophet Yusuf Allah chose Yaqub, Jacob, peace be upon him, as his messenger after Yaqub's father, the Prophet Isaac. As a member of the Prophet Abraham's lineage, he maintained the legacy of the prophethood, the essence of which is oneness of Allah, justice, freedom, peace, brotherhood, and happiness. He used to advise his community on goodness and justice, and ask them to treat each other mercifully, to protect and look after the poor who were in need of care, and to get on well with each other. Yusuf and Benjamin were the youngest of them. The Prophet Yaqub loved these two sons of his very much. Especially Yusuf had a great importance for him because he was different from his brothers. Despite his young age, he was very mature and well-mannered. He did not know what was grudge and jealousy. He used to listen to his father and pay attention to his advice. His heart was beautiful as much as his face. One night, Yusuf saw a strange dream. As soon as he woke up in the morning, he went to his father and said, My dear father, I saw in my dream the sun, the moon, and eleven stars prostrating to me. The prophet Yaqub, peace be upon him, knew that his son's dream had some meaning. He understood that Allah was going to choose his son as a messenger and make him an esteemed person both in this world and the world to come. Because the prophet Yaqub knew that Yusuf's brothers were jealous of him, he said to Yusuf, My dear son, Allah is the one you have seen in this beautiful dream. However, Satan is an open enemy of people. Do not relate your dream to your brothers. They can harm you because of their jealousy. If you keep your dream private, you will reach Allah's mercy. I hope Allah will give you and our descendants goodness, as he granted many blessings to Abraham and Isaac. Yusuf listened to his father's advice and kept his dream private. One day, Yaqub, peace be upon him, was caressing Yusuf and Benjamin while his other sons sat together and started to talk among themselves. One of them said, angrily, why does our father love Yusuf and Benjamin more than us? Another one said grudgingly, In fact, we are more powerful and better children than them. Another one said, Our father does not know whom he should really love. This is not fair. The angriest one among them said, Then let's kill Yusuf or take him somewhere far and leave him there. In this way, our father's love would concentrate on us. We can have all his love. Another one of the brothers asked, Killing him, is this not a sin? The one who offered to kill Yusuf said, What's the big deal? We can repent for our evil deeds later, and Allah will forgive us. Another one said, If you ask me, we do not kill Yusuf. It would be better for us to throw him in a well in a distant place. Maybe a caravan passing by will find him. Thus, Yusuf would be saved from the well and we would get rid of him. The other brothers welcomed this idea. They immediately made a plan among themselves and went to their father. The prophet Yaqub was playing with Yusuf. One of the brothers said, My dear father, why do not you ever take Yusuf off your lap? Let him play with us. Yaqub, peace be upon him, said, I do not want to leave him for even a moment. Another one of the brothers said, Pity on Yusuf, does he not get bored? We are going for hunting. Let him come with us. He may get some fresh air and relax. We take pleasure in playing with him too. Yaqub, peace be upon him, said, I am afraid that you might get indulged with playing and forget about Yusuf. He is still a little boy. What if a wolf comes and takes him before you realize that he is missing? All the brothers said to their father, When we are so crowded and powerful, how can a wolf come and eat our brother? Trust us, he has the right to play too. The prophet Yaqub's worries decreased. He thought that his sons were right. 
he accepted their offer in order to give Yusuf a chance to get some air, play, and have fun in the fields. The children left happily. However, as soon as they got out of view, they started to treat Yusuf badly. They pushed him around and said, Our father loves you most, whereas we deserve his love more than you do. We will throw you in a well and you will get what you deserve. Little Yusuf did not know what to do. He was a little and helpless boy. He was not powerful enough to stand against his brothers. They walked and walked. Stopped by a well, they took Yusuf's shirt and threw him into the well. Suddenly, Yusuf found himself in a dark and narrow place. He started to shiver from fear. However, his fear did not last long. Allah the Almighty increased Yusuf's courage and made him feel that he was going to be saved from there. Throughout the journey, Yusuf's brothers thought about what they were going to say to their father. They finally decided to say that a wolf had eaten Yusuf. They immediately found a goat, slaughtered it, and applied its blood to Yusuf's shirt. When they arrived home, it was getting dark. When he did not see Yusuf, Yaqub worriedly asked, Where is Yusuf? The children pretended to cry and beat their chests. One of them said, Oh my dear father, you do not know what happened. While we were racing against each other, we left Yusuf with our belongings. When we came back, we saw that a wolf had eaten our brother. Yaqub, peace be upon him, did not believe them. This is a lie, he said. You are lying to me. We knew that you would not believe us, said one of his sons. Here is Yusuf's bloody shirt. The prophet Yaqub took Yusuf's shirt. He embraced it. He looked at it, turning over and over. He could not see a teeth mark or a tear on the shirt. His sons who covered the shirt with blood forgot to tear it apart. It was obvious that Yusuf was not eaten by a wolf. With the great sorrow in his heart, Yaqub said, I know Yusuf was not eaten by a wolf. You played a bad trick on your brother. Allah is my only refuge. He gives me strong patience. The children became quiet and stepped aside. The Prophet Yaqub wept inwardly for his beloved son Yusuf. From that day on, the sorrow in his heart did not stop. The Caravan On the other hand, Yusuf, who was left in the well, took refuge in Allah and prayed. He was hoping that his Lord was going to save him from this dark place. Just then, a caravan passing by stopped by the well. A man lowered a bucket down in order to draw some water. But suddenly, the bucket became heavier. While he was trying to pull the bucket back, he saw Yusuf holding the bucket. Pull me up, Yusuf shouted. Save me. The man bewilderedly pulled the bucket up with Yusuf, of course. Then he excitedly said, Good news! I have found a child! The people in the caravan curiously gathered around him. They became very happy when they saw Yusuf get out of the well. In those days, there was a slave bazaar in Egypt. They hoped to sell Yusuf in the bazaar and make a lot of money. The caravan started off again. After days, they arrived at Egypt. They put Yusuf up for sale in the bazaar. On that day, a respectful Egyptian was looking around the bazaar. As soon as he saw Yusuf, he liked him. He brought this beautiful child and took him to the palace. He said to his wife, Zulaika, This child looks like a smart and well-mannered kid. When he grows up, he can help us. Maybe we can adopt him. Zulaika also liked Yusuf. From that day on, Yusuf started to live in the house of the honorable man. Day after day, he got used to his new family. He became a righteous child for them. 
Years passed. Yusuf grew up and became an attractive young man. The beauty of his face was indescribable. So much so that everyone who saw his beautiful face admired him. One of them was Alaika. The heart of the young woman inclined to Yusuf. She did not consider him her child anymore. She started to love Yusuf and wanted to be loved in return.